Hey, look, this defense build is it goes so crazy. I've been on it for like the last two, three days. So look, it does involve Ishiki and Minato. You could probably get where I'm coming from right here though. This build is gonna be tough. As always, you know, five likes for the gameplay. I'm gonna drop the gameplay as soon as I see five likes. I'm gonna go crazy with the video at work. Giant Scythe. Now it doesn't matter which color or any of that. It like it's the same thing. Just Giant Scythe. I love this move. It it hits you with. Like it has great combos. Like yo yo, it's just tough. Right? It's, just, it's just tough. It's tough. Ninja tools. I I use Ishiki's black staff or it's called chakra rods. I'm pretty sure. So I don't know why it's called a black staff in this game. Flying Rajan Kunai also seems like it could be great, but I haven't tried it yet. I'm gonna be honest. I might try it out, and if it's great, I will. You know, I'm gonna obviously make a little update. I'm gonna be honest. I just personally use, you know, Sasuke's fit right here because it does have pretty decent skills, well, pretty good skills actually. I'm gonna be honest. And then for the mask, I use Hidden Leaf Anbu Mask Cat, um, color two. If you play the different game modes, obviously for you. It'll be different boosts that you want, but these are the ones that I use. Now for the ninjutsu, this is probably what you came for. Oh, it actually involves all three of the new... Oh my god, that's crazy. Okay, so for the first ninjutsu, Celestial, Air Slice, Type 0. This move, it's a great move. It could really hit anybody on the map. If like if like they're close to each other, if like they're close enough, it'll really hit everybody on the map. I'm going to be honest. This move is great. It's from the reanimated Minato. DLC that just dropped like a week ago or two weeks ago, something like that. Now for Ninjutsu 2, we going Karma. This move, I love it. So it's like it'll give, it'll basically like, it gives them a Karma mark. And then it, it damages them pretty much. And then on the second input, it, just, it like makes you just blitz them. And then phew, and just, you know, it, it just makes you blitz them. I don't even know how to explain it for you. It just makes you blitz. Now for the sub, Baryan Breakthrough. So look, as I said... Top three in this game, Baryan Breakthrough, Time Space Hop, and Crystal Ice Mirror. Top three subs in my opinion. Can't go wrong with any of them. They're all great. But for now, I'm on Baryan Breakthrough, obviously, as you can see. And basically, if you sub out, it like makes you blitz towards them. Like blitz towards whoever you're targeted on. So if you target onto somebody as you sub, it's going to make you blitz towards that other person. Not the person that actually hits you. Now for the ultimate... Secret technique, you know, come on, it's the hidden jutsu, the vast dark heavens. Yo, know, this move is just tough. It hits literally everybody on the map at, at least once. So it drops, I'm pretty sure, what, 10 of the of those little chakra block things. I'm just telling you, like, I be getting double kills, triple kills, sometimes even quadruple kills with this. Like, it dip, yo, I'm telling you, like, this, this move is just tough. It's crazy. I know my only bad thing about it, it, it is only four um, tier four in the power. Well, almost every other one is tier 5, as you can see. But it it drops multiples. It, like, evens out, you know? I go like, that's tough. Okay, now, that's the best defense build that I be on. You know, this build goes crazy. Now, you know, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Like I said, 5 likes for the gameplay. Um.